Uh, good morning, my name is Grant Kozier. I'm the President and CEO of Global Ag Risk Solutions. And we are putting together this PowerPoint presentation in order to demonstrate how Global Ag Risk's production cost insurance covers hedging losses. What has happened in the past, in particular in 2013, is uh, we'll show you an example of lost revenue uh, when uh, producers did not lock in their commodity prices at significantly higher levels than they are now, which is uh, uh, February of 2014. The reason that uh, most producers didn't lock in their revenue was one of two things. Um, they didn't believe that prices were going to drop, which is fair. Um, each producer has the ability to get their own market information and make a decision from there. And we respect the fact that sometimes you're right and sometimes you're wrong. But more often than not, last year, that wasn't the reason why uh, producers didn't lock in uh, production at higher prices. The second reason and the more prevalent reason was that they just felt that there was too much production risk. So we're going to talk a lot about the production risk and we're going to go through a case study in this uh, example as to what the production risk was last year and uh, then go through uh, uh, an example of how it affected a 5,000 acre farm. We'll show the amount of money it cost that 5,000 acre farm over the course of last year and we're not going to use extreme highs or extreme lows but we're trying to use examples that are very believable and plausible on your farm. Jumping into the case study right now, uh, we're going to use a 5,000 acre farm uh, that is uh, 2,500 acres of hard red spring wheat and 2,500 acres of canola. So embedded in this example, I'm going to say that the opening price of canola was $13 a bushel and the closing price for canola was two, or $10 sorry, and 25 cents a bushel. The lost revenue per bushel would have been $2.75. If you take a production of 50 bushels per acre times 2,500 acres, it means that that farm would have grown 125,000 bushels. And if they would have forward contracted 75% of that, which we recommended, uh, they would have had 93,750 bushels forward contracted. If you apply the uncaptured lost price of 275 a bushel to that, the lost revenue on that farm for canola would have been $257,812. Moving on to the wheat example, the opening price of wheat would have been $7.75 a bushel. Again, this is not the high watermark of what you could have sold your wheat for. This is just a realistic watermark of what we believe could have been. Closing price, we'll say, is $5.75 a bushel. And so the lost revenue on the wheat would have been $2 a bushel. Now let's look at this farm and believe that they thought they would have a 60 bushels per acre of production. Uh, given that there was 2,500 acres that was put to wheat, would have been a total production of 150,000 bushels of wheat. And let's just say you forward contracted 75% of that, you'd have contracted 112,000 and change of that crop. The uncaptured loss price of $2 a bushel with that amount locked in, the wheat revenue loss would have been $225,000. So in that whole farm, in conclusion, you'd have 225,000 of lost wheat revenue and 257,000 of lost canola revenue for total revenue being of $482,000 that was lost. The reason why I went through that little case study is that that was just a typical 5,000 acre farm. We're trying to show how the decision to not lock in because you were afraid of hedging losses and having to buy it back in the future cost that farm $482,000. When you fast forward to the next slide here, we cover those hedging losses. And I want to just go and give you an example of how that's covered. Pretend in our example that we would have had a $75 global ag margin coverage. And so what that means, let's say the farm revenue had $225 an acre of farm revenue. And let's say your input costs of fertilizer, seed and chemical were $150 an acre. You would have had a gross margin of $75 an acre. And in that case, there wouldn't have been any claim because you had a $75 margin. However, Let's say that embedded in that year, your farm contracted 40 bushels per acre of the crop at $12 a bushel. And let's say you only produce 30 bushels per acre. The production shortfall on that farm would have been 10 bushels per acre. If you apply a new price of $14 and you're upside down by $2 an acre, you can see that that farm would have to pay back to the provider an extra $20 an acre. And that is where most guys would have backed off on locking in their forward contracting production is because 
they were afraid that they'd have to pay back that $20 an acre. So our next slide says, well, how do we cover that hedging? Well, before the hedging, you had a $75 an acre gross margin. But what most folks don't know is that that hedging loss actually goes into your top line revenue. And so rather than having $225 an acre top line revenue, it would actually be $225 an acre less the hedging loss for $205 an acre gross revenue. If you apply the $150 an acre of inputs to that, that reduces the gross margin down to $55 an acre. Therefore, you have a gross margin shortfall from the guarantee of $20 an acre. So if you look at that on the next slide, it shows the margin guarantee of $75 an acre. You grew 55, which included the shortfall that you had to uh, cover off for your hedging loss. So Global Ag, in that example, would have paid $20 an acre, which in fact covered the hedging loss. Finally, I just want to make clear so that it doesn't seem misleading, is that that only happens in the event of a claim. If your gross margins are higher than what you would have been insured for, and there was a hedging loss, the farm does take that one on themselves. But if you are in a claim situation, Global Ag will pay those hedging losses. And quite frankly, the way the crop prices are right now being so low, if we end up getting a dead cat bounce, we're going to strongly recommend that guys do some forward contracting to lock in some better prices. This has just been a, a brief uh, example as to how we cover hedging uh, losses on your farm. I would strongly recommend that if you have more questions uh, to contact your advisor. They're well trained in how this works. And uh, as well, you could call the head office at uh, Moose Jaw and we can further go over if you have any questions with regards to hedging. Thank you for your time.